Dang, that thing looks sick. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are ready to get started on this Corvette once again. Really excited. A lot of new parts have came in. It's going to get us to the front end of the car. Try to put the fenders on, which you guys have been waiting for. Get everything on. We're ready to finish this car up. And I also just got a call from the dealership that our clock spring is in. So that means the airbag goes in. That means the interior is completely finished. We're ready to go. So let's go pick it up and we'll meet you at the dealership. We're at the dealership, we got the flops and all, man. You know, we don't play. We're waiting on the parts department, so we just come here and we check out the Corvettes. $54,000, guys. If you want it, come down to Integrity. Grand Sport. Grand Sport, man, I got a sit in it. It's new. This is what ours is gonna look like. I was about to press the clutch pedal. <laughs> oh, no clutch pedal. I was like wondering what you were going for over there. All right, guys, so we just got the box. The clock spring is in. We're ready to go home and install this thing. Before we do, you know, we'd like to come over here and admire how sexy these uh, Z06s are, man. They're rich. I just, I don't know why, but I just don't like the way they sit that high, you know? Yeah. Apparently, they all sit like that. I don't know if you can lower them because of the magnetic uh, ride they have, but I do love the color of these wheels. I think that would look really good on our yep, Corvette. Black. A lot of people were mentioning that, so we might do that. Black I don't know. it out. Then we got this Camaro. This is just the SS. Look what it is. It's a Hot Wheels edition. This joint Dude. is Hot Wheels, man. Bye-bye. What's he doing? He's spinning the whole car. I'm gonna spin the whole car for you guys. Sucker is crazy. <laughs> All right, you got your daily dilly, your daily dealership, and now we're heading back to the house. Oh no, what are you doing on here, buddy? You can't be on the cars. We're gonna start having to wet the cars down or something, man. All right, let's crack that open. Let's uh, pop that airbag in, I guess. Let's do it. It's nicely packaged, dealership style. Right here. That's it. See that purple and pink what I was talking about? Yep. Exactly what we need. All right, so we just pulled the tent off, you know, because the rain has supposedly stopped. It's been raining these past couple weeks, so I'm going to go ahead. I got the broom here. I'm going to swipe all this water off. That way we can walk around it. You're going to move the forklift. We're pretty much just clearing out the area. That way we can work around it. We're going to start assembling the whole front end probably too, so... Got everything cleaned up in this area as you can see there. We're ready to go. To change this clock spring out, we're gonna have to remove this steering wheel just on a T50. That's super tight on there, about 22 pounds. So we're gonna go ahead and torque that off and remove this steering wheel and install the new clock spring. So this should be pretty easy, but you never know. You always run into stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and try to change this out. Probably gonna go ahead and unplug the disconnect the battery. Yeah, go ahead and disconnect the battery. And of course, this is electrical stuff here. Battery is disconnected. Here you go, sharp tool. Now the clock spring probably just comes right off, right? The fun part. Um, no, it, you have to unscrew it. As you can see, this new one right here. Two, two there, screws. There looks like there's four screws all the way around. So we got it popped back on. Now we're just gonna reinstall it. There you have it, it's finally going in. We got everything we need, the correct clips, OEM stuff, a brand new clock spring, just in case that one went bad. But that's how you want it to pop in right there. You want that click. Boom. That's it. We are Finally. back. Dang, man. That looks good. Ten times better. We are 100% done with the interior. Finally. Except for the SRS module. May need a new module or it may be able to get reset. We'll do some research on that, but we're going to keep on moving. Thing, we thought we'd never be back here at the junkyard, but one last thing when we went to dealership, we noticed that we were missing that little sensor there. I don't so know what it is. Luckily, it is still here. They've been slacking, obviously, didn't take that engine out. Hey, how much do they want for that? I'll put that in my Jeep. What? That would be sick. Yeah. If I we mean, get 100,000 likes, I'll. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> if we get, 20... get 30,000 likes, we will buy this engine and put it into his Jeep. 
What? Pop them in my Jeep. That is sick, dude. I wonder how much you'll want for these. All right, guys, so we got our sensor here. So we're ready to head back to the house and start putting together the front clip of our Corvette Z06. All right, so back at the house here, there was one little plug that we did not know what it was for and we found out today at the dealership and then we found the part here at the junkyard so where does it go show them show the people where it goes right here we were wondering what this little hole was but it's just i think it's an outside temperature sensor and it snaps right into here i'm not going to snap it in right now i'm going to first get the wire out just a simple plug and play action plug in just an outside temperature all right sensor. yeah we figured that out luckily well, now we're going to unbox the little side vents that we were waiting for to put this uh Put these fenders on so we're gonna go ahead and unbox them for you guys and show them what we got nice the package i like it i'm just ready to see these things let's see them dang that is what i'm talking about right there one for you guys dang, that is sick it's gonna have to be a little these bit polished custom, yeah these custom are made custom made he did mention that they will have to be polished a slight bit but they're pretty clean like after right the now corners you see yeah might get a little polisher yeah and uh do it you know so we're gonna go ahead and pull the fenders out and go ahead and install them yeah that's what was holding us back install them on the car all right so we brought out both of the fenders and we're test fitting this carbon fiber vent and there is gonna have to be a little bit of uh, modifications because these are custom made and they do not directly fit in there but we're sanding the edges smooth and we're gonna manage to fit it in there almost oem of course He's working on that, and we're going to install both of them, and then we'll be able to install the fenders. Had to come into the garage for a quick second. Going to bring out the grinder. All right, so we finally got this one side on. It's looking great, man. That just looks awesome. I can't wait to throw that Z06 badge on there. Now we're gonna go ahead and hop onto this side. A little bit of modification to the fender, a little bit of mods to the actual vent, and we're gonna slap it on, and then we'll be ready to put them on the car. We're probably gonna have to customize this a little bit because as you can see, this goes in perfectly fine, but it bowls out a little bit too much for my liking. So we're probably gonna have to customize a little bolt on the inside to screw it in so to hold it like that. This one turned out really good. Went in there nice and smooth, but this, this one on this end, a little bit off. But we're gonna take care of that, no problem. makeshifted a, a bolt on here we flattened the head down really flat and we used some cube on some really strong stuff so it'll straighten that big hump out so we're gonna go ahead and mark the hole where we need to drill all right so we finally got both vents in other than that one right there, we're gonna let that fully cure and then we'll tighten it up here in a little bit. But as you can see, there's a little gap there, which that's why we put that bolt there. So once you tighten it up, that's gonna go back into place and we're gonna be good on that. So we're not gonna install the fenders just yet. We still gotta install the grill into the front bumper. There's a little bit of work there that we gotta do. Uh, I think we might just jump on the, the fenders in the hood and align that first. Are we gonna be able to tighten that up right there yeah yeah i think we'll put it on we'll see if we can get under that hey, look. that looks dang good man i'm so glad we went to carbon fiber accents we also got a carbon fiber lip which is in the garage would you want to just go ahead and unpackage it <laughs> or let's just go ahead and put the grip or it just depends there's a bunch of different things we could do right now we could i think we should put the fenders on put the fenders on well the first thing you want to do is align the fenders to this door here yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So fenders go first. There's a lot of aligning to do. So,
while he's going to find some more clips and bolts and stuff like that i'm gonna go ahead and install this horn it should just pop in right here pretty simple catching a little bit of shade slid the tent over this way so we finally got this body gap here aligned perfectly got some watermelon out here you know it's hot you got to stay cool hydrated but as you can see that body gap right there is nice and even looking good matches this body line here we got to put that other side on before we get in line the hood right because this side right here needs to match that side right there all right so we got this fender close to what it's going to be but it's still going to need some adjustments after we install that side of the fender so we're going to go ahead and install that and uh, we're going to keep adjusting with the hood in place also the body lines are coming along it's a little bit tricky to figure it out but we're slowly but surely getting it done let's keep on doing this man rain ain't gonna stop us never has never will not with that tent at least this rain got rid of the mosquitoes it's gonna keep it cool we're gonna pull the tent over and we're gonna keep aligning we're getting really close to having the hood aligned with the fenders and then the front bumper is going to be easier and the headlights they just have one position pretty much but Alrighty guys, so after a couple hours of aligning, we finally figured it oh, out. Man. <laughs> yeah, it's been a couple of good, maybe three hours, but we knew this was gonna be hard because a lot of people were saying that it's super hard to adjust the Corvette, but as you can see here, let me run you through these gaps. Bam, nice gap. OEM. OEM gaps here. Look at that, good gap. We had to adjust the hinges, the latches, and we adjust everything but as you can see it's a beautiful gap there all the way down beautiful same, gap same there. on both sides yep exactly i'm gonna tighten all this little stuff up and then we'll pop in the headlight all right here we go first headlamp going in for good i can't wait to turn them on have we turned them on yet no that's gonna be oh, this video no. yeah, there you go look at that that's what i like about this the line's really great direct fitment yeah. Go hit them headlights, man. Both of the headlights are finally in, secured. This is the first time turning them on after a year. Oh my goodness, man. So sick. Go, go hit a turn signal. Hit me with a turn signal, man. I like that. That is sick. Before we jump on the front bumper, we need to jump onto the ducts, the air ducts that go to the brakes. This is pretty simple to install. It's just on two bolts. This goes exactly like this. And it directs all the airflow and it points it towards the rotor there. Definitely getting all the cooling it needs just with these ducts here. And then with the drilled holes in the rotors, it's absolutely doing it. It's thing, because once these heat up, that greatly reduces your stopping power. So you want to keep that cool. And that's exactly what these vents or ducts here are for. All right, so the air ducts are finally in for the brakes. Now what are we moving on to? Uh, we're gonna um, connect that front bumper with the grill. We're gonna conjoin them together. And we're gonna have to rivet in this little Oh yeah, we can't forget that for sure. So we're gonna put it together here in the garage. That way it's, it could be on the stand. What's up, Thomas? I'm gonna go ahead and crack it back open. We already inspected it. Yeah, all we gotta do is just pop it in. 
Dang, man, that grill just turned out great. I might uh, pull the Corvette up to the garage door so we can put some lights on it. And, Cause it's about to get really dark. That's true. And we well, want to finish the front end let up. Let me see there, we got about, about 20 minutes of light. 20 minutes? 20, 30. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're gonna pull it up to the garage, set some LEDs on it. Put we need some there. rivets. We need to rivet that little piece on. Yep. We're not skipping any steps, so don't don't think you, you're you gonna get us. You know what I mean? No, no. Don't think you can comment. Oh, you skipped something. We're not skipping anything. We're getting it done. Would you look at this? All of the pets are here. It's a celebration, man. We're super excited. That's why we're working late. We're trying to get this thing put together today for you guys. Yep. We're actually gonna have to run to the store right quick and get some bigger rivets because we don't have any rivets of this size. But these are huge, so hopefully we can find them. I'll we'll see you here in a little bit, Thomas. We can get in the zone. We got the 12 for some reason. It's a crazy one now. Oh yeah, those are those look big enough. Pretty big. Might have to grab them. Dang man, that Jeep is looking fresh. It's for sale. Should we tell them it's for sale? Uh, uh, it's not on the market yet. Not on the market yet, will be soon, but we'll out of zone. Soon. We're in the zone, now we're out of the zone. Let's go back home. One more, and that'll complete it. All right, so we finally got that riveted on there nice and sturdy. Now we're gonna go ahead and pop on this bumper absorber, which we got off the junkyard, which is in perfectly good condition. It's just a little bit dirty, no big deal. We can go ahead and install that, and then we're gonna move on to popping on that front bumper. guys so the front end is back together there's still a few more adjustments we're working to the night we ran out of light to really see and adjust anymore so we're gonna catch you guys tomorrow and finish up the front end got the rest of these pieces here we got the inner fenders got the fender flares and also the under tray pieces here we're just gonna finish up installing everything we had to pop the front bumper back off because we still got to adjust some stuff and also we're gonna go ahead and throw on this little rubber seal that goes up front here and it's just on 3M. You know, you gotta have that OEM stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that on. Everything is aligned, everything is screwed on, the front bumper is on for good. So now, uh, we're gonna open up the lip, which you've been waiting for, and uh, I don't wanna put this under tray on because I don't know if the lip goes on first or the under tray because there is little slots right here for the lip. So we're gonna go ahead and open the lip up, see how it fits. Oh yeah, I'm ready to see what this thing looks like, man. Dang, Dang they got foam in here. Just don't cut the lip, man. Instructions, yep, look at that C7. Nice. It's nicely packaged. Hold that tail right there. It's gonna be nice and packaged. Really yeah, so I know, nice right? And We're about to find out on that. What do you think? Dang, that's gonna be sick, dude. Super light, can't even feel it. It's gonna match the little vent there on the side. How's it fitting up over there? Look, it's fitting up pretty great so far on my end. All right, so to install this front lip and also all the under trays there, we're gonna have to jack up the car. So we got the jack here, and we're gonna set it up on some jack stands. Dang, it's clean under here, man. Brand new. Oh yeah. That's what I like about aluminum. Aluminum don't rust. Aluminum is lightweight. That thing right there is heavy duty. It's super strong. It's not your ordinary Honda tray. It's super like thick. All right, so there's a second under tray piece, which is a little bit smaller. Go ahead and install it. And just see. All right, so the lip is finally on, man. It looks great, man. I love that. Just aggressive, goes great with the side vent. Also got both of the trays underneath on, nice and secure. Got all OEM bolts into the position. So now we're ready to install these inner fenders here. So we're gonna have to pull off both wheels and tires on each side and then we'll install them and go from there.
just got the inner fender in. It's looking great. Other than a few pieces, like a little plastic piece right here that we didn't notice. So it looks like it just clips on the four clips right here. And then this little turn signal, I guess it's a reflector turn signal. Yeah. Whatever you call it. We're going to order that at the dealer whenever we get this whole entire front end put together completely. And uh, the jack stand's in the way right here to clip this on. So we're going to go ahead and jump on that side, throw the fender flare on, the inner fender, and then we're going to lower the car and then finish it off. All right, so both inner fenders are on, both fender flares are on. Now we're popping on this tire. It's ready to go back down. show them all that stuff in the next video for sure so cover that up we're gonna wrap this sucker up that thing is clean man <laughs> alrighty guys that's gonna be a wrap for today's video as you can see the Corvette looks absolutely aggressive man it's complete finally back together other than two little pieces that we need a side marker and a little mud flap there that's just gonna pop right in so if you're new be sure to like and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on the next video where we test drive it detail it and then show you all the features that this car includes so if you're not following us on Instagram be sure to check us out at goon squad you get the inside scoop there so be sure to give us a follow also be sure to copy some merch at goonsquad.com we're selling out quick so be sure to get you something if you want to support us the links are down below all the help is much appreciated thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you next time peace